Hello boys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new car. Yes, the Nissan 400Z. So this will be our new project car. So we've completed the Supra. If you've not seen that video, go check it out. We took a stock Supra and built it to a drip machine. And this car, I got it from the Deluxe Edition along with a few more cars. Let me show you. So if you get the Deluxe Edition, you get six cars and you have to reach level 21 to unlock the rest three. So when I say the rest three, I have a Mustang Dark Horse. I have the BMW M92C is what they call it. Let me show you change car. So I'll show you all the cars I got from the Deluxe Edition. One of them will be turning it to a drip build. So this is the other car, the BMW. Uh, it's also a cabriolet and that is the Nissan 400Z that we were looking at before. And now let me change to the Mustang. So I had to buy a uh, few more properties so I can store my cars because you only get three slots per property so yeah so now I have to switch cars from here so change cars it takes you to the different apartment where the car is parked it's a bit of getting to know kind of thing but yeah so this is our Mustang so let me know what you want to see on this car so do we build it a drip build or you know a street uh, a race build i i would probably go with a stray you know a race build on this but listen to this it sounds mighty the gear shifts also let me show you the interior of this also so yeah it has the proper 4 gt rev limiter and all of that so yes let's waste no time i have two boss to defeat today one drift car to build so now let me show you the map so i've been grinding offline as you know like i always do so we have two boss events to do i will show you let's just uh, swap to our drift car and it will unlock so here she is the drift united club like we talked in the previous video i have entered this event i have completed all the playlists so 15 races again like in the other playlist and now we have the boss race so let's waste no time let's jump directly to the event uh, before that like always let's go to a fuel station let's see if we have enough fuel fresh tires all of that so if you're new to the channel welcome to t97 and if you haven't dropped a like already I mean come on do it i've been grinding this game so hard i've already spent 20 plus hours in the game and it's just been four days the game was released and you already saw we beat four boss already so yes sir so yeah i was running this post place test, just testing a few things out so yeah let's buy a few more set of those and uh auto change man okay so ties are brand new uh let's go with uh the normal fuel i was just testing a few combinations of race plus sports plus tires and you know the race fuel all of that i'll tell you when i have a, a confident answer so now our super is ready let's go defeat our boss these events were not easy but let's see here we go boys the gloves are on for the boss event let's go we need to have max angles for this to get the most points not lose the drift yes come on I means she can hold angles Let's go, 2800 already. No, no, do not crash and lose your multiplier. 3800, we need 5500, 4000, 4600, 5200. I can see the finish line. Probably do a 360. And that's how you kill the boss. Let's go, boys. Our Supra has defeated two boss. You know, it's a stock car and look how far it's come. Let's go 5,500. Easy. Easy for this thing. Now we have one more boss. Now it's a street race. 
So we'll complete that. We'll make a lot of money, which we will spend on the Nissan 400C that we saw in the beginning, and make that thing go sideways like the surprise. Let's go. Drop a like to the video if you haven't already, and subscribe if you are new. Oh, we got a car too, boys. We've got the you know DK, the Drift King's car, the 370 or 350Z. I'm not sure from what I'm looking at now. Let's go check it out. I probably have to buy another house now to just store this car. Level 22. Let's go. New rewards for leveling up. What are those? 10,000. I mean, this game does not give you enough money, honestly. 20,000? Okay. That's, that's quite good. Let's go, buddy. The Supra has been so good to me. Now... Let's swap our car. So I am using a different car for the street racing. So you saw in the first video, we were using the Honda uh, Civic. Um, yeah, exactly this car. But now I'm using the other Honda. I'm not sure what is exactly called. No, I, I, I forgot the name of the car. But yeah, neither. Uh, it is this, the 330Z is what I'm driving, driving for this boss event. So let's go defeat the second boss. Here we go boys, the boss race. Sorry, uh, I mentioned a different boss, but uh, this is the race now. It is the Union Underground playlist. Sorry, yeah, I, I got confused there for a second. Because I've been playing the game so much. You know, I have so many playlists going together simultaneously. But here we are, in our Honda Civic actually, with the final boss. So, here we go. Front wheel drive, tuned, upgraded to go fast in a straight and in the corner. So let's go, our final boss race. Let me concentrate, these guys are rammers, you know that. We got him change directions like that, like a noob. Look, look, he's trying to block my racing light. Gonna play safe here because he's gonna crash into an AI, you noob. That's why you take a wider line, carry more speed, then exit out of the corner. Whoa, AI, easy. Let's go, boys. We are leading already, but he is catching up. That's a huge pillar and... Wow, that was not good. Look at him, he just flew away. Here we go. Go on the Civic. me again he's gonna catch up very quick we saw that in the first run so no mistakes perfect corners perfect gearing all of that oh buddy that last corner is where i am struggling to find a better line probably go a little bit more wide in this corner and then get back in Something like that, yes sir. Finally. Bye bye buddy. Bye bye. Let's go boys. Two boss races. A lot of money. Ah. That's how you do it. On the third time. Anyways, let's see what rewards we get. Bye bye buddy. It was a good race though, you know. Highly competitive. Rewards for the club. Please give me a car, I guess. No, no car. 30,000. That means 10,000 per run, I guess. I did three runs. Okay, 20,000 again. That's good. 50,000 in total. Good, good amount of money. We will need all of that for our drift build. 
let's go the civic has been nice to us boys i highly recommend this car for racing i've told this previously also so now let's go get our nissan you know get our nissan so this is done uh, juniors is done drift united club is done you know conjo spirit is done now probably we would go for the falcon c3 or uh okay what is this event uh western sira maybe a drift event what is it i don't know it needs a c2 class car so i have c1 c2 c3 also now so the c3 is the mustang probably for racing it will be good c3 drift car will be our nissan so let's go upgrade this car but first we'll see how it's drifting as stock and then we'll see you know how we can work around it so let's check the tires that we are running first tires are very important in drifting so let's add street tires yes just the best tires street tires are on we have fuel traction control is turned off let's go okay it just it definitely wants to go sideways but for how long oh it does have good power boys this might be a good car to work around okay this is completely stock honestly no let's not go to the highway i know a good location to test drift cars let's go there okay here we are at our testing ground it's a parking lot which has you know loops so it's like the tokyo drift thing so here we go stock car uh, yeah not the best but it's a stock you know we will be working on it don't worry i want to test how bad or how good it is okay it can definitely hold in second gear that's good it is stock boys remember that it is stock not a penny spent straight from the factory to this okay third gear has no power uh yeah now let's waste no time let's get straight to the tuning now spend our money i will show you what exactly you have to do to get this thing sideways first things first let's do that uh you know suspension uh where did i go okay suspension yeah i am here front suspension front arms let's uh, go with street arms let's not spend a lot here front stabilizers will be we go sports yeah let's go for sports uh braking system mm, let's go for sports that's enough for this rear stabilizers yeah stabilizers we need good ones no we have to we'll be keeping chin direction and all that arms yeah uh front suspension arms we installed uh, the normal ones so rear suspension also probably just go with the basic let's go with i'm not very pro in all the dampers we need good dampers so let's add sports uh rear dampers also will be sports okay that is done transmission clutch we need a good clutch so do we go elite on this we can tweak the gear ratios gear shifting if you go elite let's do the elite yeah differential okay we have the ultimate one uh, we have to i think it's welded already we could, we were able to hold the angle so yeah gearbox uh, final drive the ultimate one uh, transmission loss do we need a good one on this 52000 let's try with the basic and see how it performs you know if we are not able to drift then we will upgrade to better parts engine so ecu yeah we will need a good ecu for this mm, let's go with sports i guess Um, but we cannot tune the rev limiter if we are on sports. But for racing, we can. Mm, yeah, I think sports ECU should be good for now. This will change the class of the car. Oh no, I don't want to change the class of the car. I want to stay within C3 to enter events. So I am forced to do this. Turbo? No, we will not add any turbo. Camshafts. Uh, 
we'll keep it we'll pass it for now okay let's add a good fuel system yes let's go with uh, sports cylinder head i think sports will be fine engine block i'll pass exhaust manifold r racing yes sir we spent so much money boys exhaust we need a good exhaust so not gonna spend my street point so let's go with the racing exhaust that's done i think that's all i'm gonna do for the body weight reduction all of this does not actually matter you know so wheels also i think i'm gonna just gonna keep this they look good okay i think in terms of performance i think i've done my part here so here we are at our drift testing grounds victoria paradise in our new drift project car let's go boys so third gear there is zero power in the initial i mean no torque so second it ha it needs a little bit of work in the tuning see it can hold angles in second gear but it's very snappy maybe increase the tire pressure on the rear and then try probably it's gripping a lot yeah let's change the tire pressure and then try tuning we have to pay so many uh, so much amount just to you know upgrades tire pressure in the rear tires so will probably increase by one click i guess here yes pay that amount okay here we go we have a slightly higher tire pressure in the rear now it is a yeah there is more less grip in the back now you can tell already oh i need an angle kit on this It's a work in progress boys, it's not gonna be perfect on the day one. So yeah, but we've added a few upgrades, it is going sideways. We saw the Supra, it was, it was worse than this car. So yeah, it will take some time. Let me know your thoughts on this drift build and also let me know what do we do with the Mustang that we have. A race build or you know, whatever we can do. And yes, I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like to the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new. I'll see you tomorrow once I've perfected this car and have a lot more money to spend. So until then, keep it sideways. Drive safe. Cheers.